If you want to see how to turn impossibilities into possibilities, then you have come to the right place. With that said, in today's video, we are going to show you how China turns its largest barren deserts into big farmlands by planting the country's one-of-a-kind rice that can grow in the desert and warm areas. So without further delay, let's get started with our story for today. Changing barren deserts into profit is not an easy task, but watch how China manages to do it. China plants upland rice on the eighth largest desert in the country. According to report, the cost of growing arid rice per acre is more than 2,000 yuan, including land, water, fertilizer, drip irrigation pipe, labor, machinery, and other costs. The program of planting in the desert has effectively curbed the expansion of desertification and helped prevent sandstorms and soil erosion and safeguard agriculture in the region. What you see in here is exactly what it is. It's not a miracle. There is actually farmland in the middle of the Kabuchi Desert in North China. Desert control is a common challenge for the international community, and China's Kabuchi Desert is offering its own solution. After so many years of efforts, the vegetation coverage now takes up more than half of the Kabuchi Desert. But locals say that desert control is a career that will pass on from generation to generation. In the arid region of Xinjiang, China, farmers show that small ideas can grow into big changes. Many places across China have launched a new round of saline alkali-tolerant rice, or better known as seawater rice. Aiming to increase output as the country strives to ensure food security amid an increasingly uncertain global food market. Farmers are reaping wheat crops across China as harvesting season begins. Using combined harvesters, 1.67 million hectares of the crop have been reaped across China. That's about 8.2% of the total wheat plantation area. Figures from the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Affairs showed more than 650,000 modern combined harvesters will be deployed to harvest wheat crops. Here is an amazing harvest. Have you ever seen a huge area full of rice straw bales from the air? If not, this is your chance to see it. Here it is. China 
can produce about 200 million tons of rice each year at present if there are no large-scale natural disasters and rice is slightly oversupplied in the market. Adding that, some countries have tightened grain exports, but their measures can hardly affect China's grain security, especially for rice. Since May, China has started a nationwide large-scale sea water rice planting. Sea water rice, which is a saline alkali-tolerant type of rice, was designed to grow in tidal flats or other areas with heavy salt concentrations and developed through cross-breeding and other technologies. China plans to turn 66,667 hectares of saline alkali land into rice fields. Watch how farmers in northwest China's Gansu are using a walk-behind paving machine to efficiently plant straw nets in desert areas to combat desertification. Take a look at this sand prevention project built by China. A sand shield green belt has been built along the Hutan Rucheng Railway that runs through the southern rim of the Taklimakan Desert in China's Xinjiang. And that's the end of today's video. I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.